Hi, my name is Adrian. I'm a pro fitness trainer. Um, I get a lot of questions about what exercises are good to do for the lower half, especially from women. Everywhere you go, every gym you go to, you see people squatting a lot. Um, as somebody that's a product of the old school ways of doing things, I was a big proponent of squats myself. But lately, I've been sort of questioning some of the things I've learned about that. And it's not because I still don't believe that squats are a great exercise. I think we need to start looking at other ways to maximize and get the best benefit for our bodies rather than squatting. Um, I feel that squats, for the most part, creates a bit more problems than benefit. And I'll say that with a little bit of caution. Take this ball, for example. You, you, you press the middle of the ball, what happens to the sides of the ball? Energy disperses. I consider that to be a squat. Because what you do is, in essence, you make your legs bigger. And, and most people will be like, oh, not necessarily. If you squat properly, you shouldn't make your legs bigger. I think a lot of the theories right now is like when you squat, you get your butts better. You, you, your butt gets tighter and gets bigger. I think it's the width in the, butt that actu in the legs that actually gets wider, and the quads get bigger. If you really look at this, if I pull the front of my pants here, what happens to the back? It makes it smaller. And what you're doing, in essence, is actually making your butt smaller while you're making your legs bigger. So there's an illusion that the width in the thigh is making the butt bigger. What happens to all that skin, for example, for women? When you, when you squat, basically this is what you do. You're, squ you're squeezing the skin out. The biggest organ in the body is the skin. Eventually, the skin is going to need somewhere to go. Think about it this way. As we get older, density starts to deteriorate, like bone density deteriorates, and it doesn't support that skin. And what happens to that skin? It starts to sag. That's why you see a lot more people, in my opinion, that's why they have more dimples or more cellulite, or the butt is not as t firm as they wanted to be when they were bathing suits. So I think squats actually create more problems. I'm not saying you shouldn't squat. I'm just saying you should understand why you're squatting, and you think the benefits of squatting is for your body. I think things like leg lifts, step ups, lunges are better, better ways to maximize the, the benefit you're trying to get from your butt or trying to get your butt toned rather than squatting. People will say that, oh, I have knee problems, I have back problems, I have shoulder problems. Yes, squats do do that. I've never seen very many people that squat properly. Every time they go down, more than likely their knees shake. For women especially, the hips are supposed to expand and contract naturally for birthing. So what happens is when they go down, if they have a dominant side, the knees always shake. So they put too much pressure on one side to overcompensate. I think squats actually promote this imbalance in the body. I'm not saying it's totally all responsible for it, but it does promote it. I think we need to start asking questions about the exercises we do for our bodies and start treating our bodies a bit better. Not that squats are not good. I'm just saying if you're going to use it, make sure that it's beneficial to, for your body. Stay tuned and check us out at ufit.com for more tips on exercises. Thanks.